Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the pet cell eject. We're gonna talk about some of the key features and how to use it both with MRS, SRS and yeah, follow me and let's go! Okay guys, today we're gonna talk about the pet cell eject. Uh, before we start, a couple of things. Uh, it's really important that you actually read the manuals and instruction manuals so you know how it actually works up in the tree and what it's approved for and how many persons and things like that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start with showing off some functions here. We got the, the pulley. Uh, it has a 95% efficiency, so it's a really nice wide pulley. Uh, it got a really nice thing here called the eject so it's it pops off like so when you take it out it's that's quite a nice future from petzl actually uh, i'm gonna show you later on why it's it's really cool uh, we got the adjuster here so you can adjust how yeah how far down you want to pull it to hang or how tight towards the crotch you want it to hang uh, yeah so take it through the adjuster like so and then we, we can push this little thing here to your right. Uh, and then we take it, take the webbing sling through that hook. Push it in so you hear a good click. And then it's all set. But then we can adjust it because I want it like really tight. I want it really tight in the crotch. So, like so. If you take a look here, you got one direction here you're supposed to put it in. So you push up this spring loaded tab and you take the rope through like so. You follow the direction that the pulley wants you to go through. Uh, and you can use it as an armor system. Like so. And then if we want to retrieve it, we take our cherry Put it on a splice end, like so, and we pull the sherry through, and the, the sherry pushes that uh, spring loader thing, and everything drops out. That's pretty cool. So, say then, for example, we're gonna use this for a SRS system, so, and we need a carabiner as well to block it off like so right okay and I use retrieve it the same way as you do with the MRS system um, yeah we're gonna take it up to tree and uh, see how it works there follow me and let's go and I take my rope Follow the direction, as the pulley says. Push up the spring loader tab. And I'm all set. And I can start doing my work, right? Uh, you can really feel the high efficiency pulley and it's super quick. If you combine it with the uh, pets and zigzag, it's a really smooth system. So yeah, now again we talk about how we're gonna uh, set it up with the uh, SRS system. Uh, so for this example here, this is how I usually use it when I'm doing SRS because I can always safe retrieve it so it doesn't hit the ground when I retrieve it. Uh, I start off taking the rope uh, above the above the petzl eject. So I'm looking for a suitable anchor point, so I will say he is a suitable anchor point for me. Uh, and then the same thing here, as we always do, you put it in this, the right direction as the pulley says. So then the rope is on the ground, right? 
I do a blocking knot with the carabiner, like so. Nice thing with this is I can I can do an entire tree, so I can end up going through a couple of crutches like so. It doesn't matter, I'm always gonna retrieve it straight down, the stem, and that's really nice. And then I pull down my rope until I get that the tagline, the tagline all the way down to the ground until I get the knot, so I can undo the knot. So we have the spliced in here because we need to put a cherry on, right? The pet cell uh, cherry has an, uh, a hole here, so you can either connect a, a throw line here, or as I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my other end of the rope and I just take it, put it on here, so I can pull everything down again. Uh, yeah, put the cherry on like we usually do, like so. And then I'm gonna take the end of the rope and just uh, choke it there as well. Then I go back to my working end, I pull up the rope until it goes up and then you see it disconnects and then I can pull it up like this, either more if I want to or, then, or I can just pull it straight down, like so. Nice, pretty cool huh? If you're thinking about getting a really good friction saver, I think the Pet City Eject is the way to go. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button and stay tuned for the next video. See you guys!